What do you take the most pleasure in? Because as well as going out and unearthing diamonds that nobody knows about, you also have to do a lot of work on established players and players that people know about. What's, what, what part of the job do you take the most pleasure in? Well, I think what, what you've just said probably epitomises that, the fact that in everybody knows some of the players. So if we go and buy a Premier League player, Robert Huth, for instance, um, we obviously we took him on loan from Stoke and then we, we, we further made that a, a permanent signing. But we knew what we were getting and 80% of the fans knew what we were getting as well. So, which is um, another skill to see that can he fit into what you want to do. And that was quite clear, you know, that he was probably as instrumental as anybody in, in helping us to, to remain in the Premier League last year. Um, where I suppose the greatest satisfaction comes along is when you go and watch a, a Riyad Mahrez, for instance, and, uh, and that obviously, uh, coupled with getting him for a, quite a, a small fee, gives you that certain amount of satisfaction when you realise now that he's actually worth a lot more than, than you paid for him, for sure. Is and it getting harder now, though? Because a lot of clubs are doing a lot of homework now and a lot of resources being put into recruitment. It must be getting more difficult to, to find those players that nobody else knows about. It is, um, but I think part of that is taking a chance and coming back to the gut <coughs> instinct thing. If you do watch that player and you really believe in that player, and there are certain players out there who we don't play for us at the moment, who I believe in. And if an opportunity to come, comes along to bring a player from that position that the manager wants, then I'm halfway there with it, if you like, because I'm convinced that this player will, will be good for us. You've probably been asked this question a million times before. When was the first time you saw Jamie Vardy? Um, against Yeovil Town um, when Fleetwood as a non-league club were playing them in the FA Cup. I think that's the first time I watched him live. Um, but you knew about him before then, didn't you? I knew about him because we tracked him from Stocksbridge Steels, then Halifax Town and after Halifax on to Fleetwood. So we'd had him tracked in all those uh, at all those levels prior to him going um, to Fleetwood and then once he got to Fleetwood he was actually going through the stages for us he was filter filtering himself if you if you will by going to that next level and still doing well the biggest call ever was to take him from non-league and put him in the championship how sure have you got to be about because I mean, he plays for England now it looks like a master stroke and a snip but at the time, a million pound was a record for it, or it still is a record for a non-league yeah. player. It was a punt. How, how sure have you got to be of a player like that? I think it comes back to, to gut instinct. Um, I saw him in the next round, I think, of the FA Cup, or in a league, might have been in the Capital One, or it was the um, Coca-Cola, yeah. was it then? He played against um, Baptiste from Blackpool and he absolutely ripped him apart. And Baptiste is a decent defender. So once I'd seen him play at um, another level, if you will, where you have a, a defender of, 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 a, of a higher standing, and he can do that to that sort of player, he was always quick and he was always... And his finishing was, was decent. You know, he scored quite a, a considerable amount of goals for Fleetwood that, that season that he went up. And uh, he had confidence. And I think with confidence, Jamie can go right to the very top because sometimes he maybe has some self-doubts, you know, along the way. And maybe he did in that first year in the, in the championship. But I think he was encouraged by Nigel and Craig and, and myself. And, um, and he's obviously succeeded. Uh, uh, and he's, he's a very, very good Premier League player now, top goal scorer as we speak.